So hi everyone, this is Jasper Given the Team Squad coming at you with a 100% achievement guide for Botany Manor. This game dropped on the 9th of April directly onto Xbox Game Pass. Now I'm going to show you a full walkthrough of the game, so there's a full spoiler warning effect from this point onwards. Uh, the goal of this game is to pretty much go about making plants, solving puzzles, and finding ducks along the way. So you first of all need to kickstart in this area, you're going to make your way over to the corner and we're going to open up the package called Forgotten Fauna and that's going to get the game rolling. So the goal of the game to get all 36 achievements is to find ducks, plant, plants uh, and find all the clues on how to grow all of the individual plants. So make your way through the door and we're going to grab our first two clues. They are on the right hand side and they are the wildflowers and the soil temperature documents on the wall just here that is the first of the two clues for chapter one and they're going to help you grow the windmill wart plant turn around from here and make your way around until you see a red button great thing on the desk and you want to look at the postcard and the newspaper that is directly next to that and then just to your left is the potting station we're going to make our way over there so to pot a plant you'll need to find the seeds the seeds in this case are on the table directly in front of you once you've found the seeds, you'll need to then scoop soil into a pot, place the seed and then give it a water. So potting soil is just to the right, click on it, click on the seed that you need and then press A to water it. Now to get this plant to grow so it will sprout, but first of all we need to pick up the windmill wart, walk over to the side by this red button, place the plant down, backtrack to this wheel here and you want to turn it until it reaches 60. Turn around and walk back to the red button and then press it and that is going to create a heat wave onto the windmill wart and that is going to cause the plant to grow. That is our first plant of many that we will need to grow through this game. So to confirm there are 12 plants, there are 5 ducks to be found and then several miscellaneous achievements along the way, so I say a total of 36. Once you've grown a plant it's going to pop up and it's going to ask you to add clues. So to do this we need to click on the add clue bit in the book and then we're going to add the wildflowers, the temperature card and the postcard to the clue and that completes the research for the windmill wart plant. Now grab the plant, we're going to make our way out of the door and we're going to follow the pathway in front of us for a few minutes. Now you're going to hit this fork in the road, take a right and make your way down to the end. And on the end you are going to find a key, you want to pick that one up. Okay, and that's going to add that to your inventory. So from here we need to make our way back. You can also inspect the plaque if as well if you want to, uh, it's just where you're located. So make your way back to the fork in the road. Continue forward and there is a gate in front of you that is locked. Pop the key in and that is going to open this up. So make your way forward and we're going to go into the actual manor house. So go around the fountain in the middle. Make your way up the stairs and then on the left hand side there is a door. Make your way in. Pop your plant down. Wherever you put it, it doesn't really matter. You have to actually put every single plant in this room later on. Exit out of here, I'm going to make our way down to the green door that is on the right hand side of the fountain if you're exiting the manor. And then make your way over to the orchard gate and give it a quick shake to bag yourself another achievement. Turn around and go back out the green door, but this time head right into the gap in the hedge. And you're going to want to take a seat for uh, one minute. So that's going to get you two achievements, one for taking a seat and the other one for taking a nap. Um, I'm not going to make you watch... Uh, sitting for one minute so I'm going to cut this short. Okay so once you are done sitting you want to stand on up and we are going to make our way back into the manor house. So we grabbed ourselves a couple of miscellaneous achievements here. We're going to grab our first duck of the game. It is on the right hand side as you come in. Look to the windowsill. Pick up that duck and you'll bag yourself another achievement as well at the same time. There is five of these guys to find in total. Turn around and enter the door that is directly behind you. Uh, and as you come in, 
It's going to kickstart chapter number two, and you're going to be in this main hall area. You'll want to inspect the note that is just opposite the tree, and you want to look at the family tree also. Turn to you around, and you want to look at the Dartmoor poster. You want to then go right and head down the corridor and look at the Pyrophiles book. And then from here, you want to backtrack into the main hall area. And then just by this door, there's a little code that you can look at, which is from Taunton to London Paddington. And then head your way into this area. You're going to look at the photographs that are just at the base of the stairs. And then to your left, you're going to find the seeds. You want to pick those up. And we're going to grow some Fulgaria. Okay, so the first thing that we then need to do also in this section, we need to do some experimentation. So just grab whatever chemical that you feel off of this fence, uh, sorry, for this shelf. Um, Brennan's got an affinity to sulfur for some reason. Make your way back out into the main courtyard area. We want to scoop some soil into the plant pot and then plant the Fulgaria seed and then water the, water the plant just here. Grab the Fulgaria and make your way back into the main room that you were in for the chemicals. Turn to the right, open the door into the dining room. And in the dining room, make your way to the back and you're going to find a book which you need, which is another clue, the folklore book. Turn around from here and make your way into the other door in the dining room and you're going to be in this drawing room. On the table in front of the fireplace is a clue for about how to use a lumen lamp. Make your way across to the photography section and place the plant down just here. You'll then want to make your way across the desk and look at the letter and the bottle. These are clues on how to grow the Fulgaria plant. From here, turn around and you want to grab the key that is below the horse photo, which is going to open up the back terrace later on. Go past the piano for now and then you want to look at the picture. And then make your way out of this room and you want to go grab the the chemical mix that you created earlier. Take the flask into the drawing room where the photography setup is. You want to make sure the lamp on the right is open. Pull your chemical in, close the shutter and press the take picture button. Uh, you'll bag yourself an achievement for messing this up. You'll get the boom achievement. From here, turn around and you can play the piano to also get yourself another achievement. And apologies, we put the flask down here at this point, but turn back and grab the flask. Make your way back through the dining room and then into the room with the chemicals. Place the flask down and you want to get potassium in there twice. And you'll get magnesium in there once. Grab the chemical mix, make your way back into the drawing room. And then to your left, make your way across to the uh, photography setup. Open the drawer. Close the drawer and then press the button. That is going to cause the Fulgaria plant to grow. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add the clues for the Fulgaria plant. Fulgaria, I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, so we will add the clue of the folklore book. We want to add the clue of the flash lamp manual. You'll want to add the clue for the bottle, so the flash powder bottle. You'll then need to add the clue that is the letter from the farmer and then the photographs. Once you've done that, you want to grab the plant off the shelf. And we're going to make our way back to the front of the manor house. So exit out of here, take a left and take a left again. When you reach the stairs, go to the right, and we're going to plant the plant in the side room, ready for later. So it's next to the planting station, and pop it down anywhere that you like. Once you've done that, we are going to make our way towards the back terrace. So exit to so enter back into the manor, left at the tree, take a right and go down to the very end of the corridor, and you're going to go to the back terrace. Okay, as you come into this area, go past the door that's at the top and we're going to go down the stairs. Once you make your way down the stairs, you will see directly in front of you, you're going to see the seed bag and the seed log. We want to grab these. 
Now that you have those, we are going to go after the kitchen key. Okay, so we're going to need a key for this one. Uh, so right of the seeds and the book, enter the archway, go down the stairs, and at this door take a left out onto this little outcrop, and you're going to find the kitchen notes, and to the right of the kitchen notes you'll find the kitchen key. Head back up the stairs, and as you get to the top, directly in front of you on the table is a letter from Grace. Now we want to make our way back into the house, so to do that go up the big stack of stairs, take a left at the door, uh, and then we're going to go back in through the door that we opened earlier. Make your way in, and then you want to look to your right, you're going to open up the kitchen. Head into the kitchen and directly in front of you, you want to look at the glowing blessings poster. Turn around from the poster and you're going to find the cooking book on the table. Turn around from that cooking book and you are going to find the Dartmoor lecture pamphlet. And then to the right of that you want to look at the broken mortar. And then to the right of that you want to look at the note on top of the kindling box. From there you want to exit to the door to the right of the stove. And as you come into this area, on front of the in front of you on the table is the romantic card, uh, and to the right is duck number two. Uh, also on the wall there's the poem about Woodsman's Wood, uh, and then yeah, to the left of that you'll find a duck number two. Okay, and then from the duck, make your way up the stairs, exit out of the door, turn around to the left, and make your way down the stairs. You are going to find another book outside for hope, smoking, and curing. Okay, and then from here we want to make our way back up the stairs and into the kitchen. Come out of the kitchen and you want to take a right back into the main lobby area. We're going to go to the potting station that's just here. Grab yourself a pot from underneath, fill her up with some soil. Grab the ash plume seed and then sprinkle some water on. Grab the pot and we're going to make our way back to the kitchen. So grab that, take a left at the tree and a left at the Dartmoor poster and into the kitchen. Head down to the stove and we're going to place the ash plume on the frying pan. I'm going to cook it up a little bit. That's going to cause it to start to sprout. That also gets you an achievement called crack. Uh, and then we're going to make our way back outside to the smoking room. So. To the right of the stove is the door. Go out of the door, go up at the stairs, and then take a left and go down into the smokery. Look at the back of this area, pop the plant down, and we're gonna go grab some wood. So we need to grab some oak off of the side here, just the one log will do. Make your way back to the smokery and pop that down on the fire. So that is your ash plume done, so you'll get the achievement for the ash plume. And let's update our clues. So first clue is the Dartmoor poster, or the pyrophiles will do. The Dartmoor poster and the pyrophiles. You then want the seed log, you want the cooking book, the Dartmoor lecture, the poem and then last but not least the smoking book that completes all of the research for the ash plume right, we're going to close that down and we're going to grab the ash plume just off of the side make your way back to the front entrance of the manor so to do that go back through the kitchen uh, and then take a right by the tree Once you're in that lobby area, enter that room, pop the plant down, wherever you like, it doesn't really matter. And now we need to go get a gatehouse delivery. So the gatehouse is where we picked up the very first key in the game, so go past the fountain, 
go through the gate that we opened at the start and keep following the pathway straight uh, stay on the left hand side and as eventually you reach way back into this area the delivery by the post box is a letter and a key and that key is going to open up the orchard where we were earlier uh, where we tried to open earlier so backtrack to the fountain Take a left at the fountain and continue forward through the door. Use the key on the orchard door and that is going to pop that bad boy open. Make your way in through four peculiar petals chapter to the start. As you come into this area straight away on your left you're going to find your first clue. So it's a note to Florence and ne directly next to that is a, another book which is the wolf glove. Now that we've done that take a right and you're going to make your way over to the table just outside this little shed. There is the advice letter. To your right you want to open up the little shed. On the inside you are going to find some seeds. And that is the pixie tear seeds. Behind that you're going to find another little note that you want to have a quick look on soil additives. From there you want to exit out and we're going to make our way over to this outside corridor area. Uh, and directly in front of you, you're going to find these microscope slides. You don't have to specifically inspect them all, just the one will do. To the right of that, you'll find the iodine bottle, which you'll need to inspect. Uh, and in the case, there is also even more slides. To the right of that is a book on chloroplasts, which is another clue. Make your way down to the end. You also see this little plaque of the orchard mosaic. But on the right hand side, the bits you need is the priest holes book, the history of England and the letter from the historian. Okay, from here turn around we're going to go back down the end of the corridor uh, and there on the left hand side is a potting station so make your way over we want to fill up a pot with some soil and we are going to grab the pixie tears uh, seed so use the potting soil grab a pixie tears seed top that up with some water grab your flower and we're going to go through the green door that is behind the potting station Once you've done that, make your way across the stepping stone kind of pathway in this area. Uh, and you want to make your way into the back and we're going to grab some more clues. Um, but first place your plant down next to the cider press on the left. You want to look at the cider apples poster by the table. Further to the right of that, you're going to find a apple blending recipe. And then we're going to blend some apples, right? So here we can actually just add the clues straight away. We want the pot notes, we want the microscope slides, you want the chloroplast book, the cider apples, and the apple blending. And now we need to make some cider. So, like true, like a true West Country person, like myself. Let's make that uh, bloom through cider. So grab the apple with the knobbly bits on it that almost look like bits of mold. To your right, you want to big, grab the big green apple and you'll place that down. And then make your way back in and in the little tray, you want to grab the blue apple and place all three of those on the cider press. Once you've done it, do whatever every West Country person does, get some cider. Uh, and that's going to cause the pixie tears to bloom because it's probably so acidic. Uh, and we want to grab that plant and we're going to take take that away with us. We're going to take this back to the front of the manor. Uh, you notice that we're doing this every single time. The reason why we're doing it every single time is because otherwise it's very easy just to forget where you've left your plant uh, and try it, you know, you'll spend a little bit more longer trying to clean up at the end of the game. So it's quicker to do this now than it is trying to do it at the end of the game when you're scrambling around trying to find where you put your last plant. So exit out of the orchard, go into the house and again into the left uh, by the, the potting station. Uh, and drop your plant plot down. 
Now let's make our way back to the orchard. So make your way down the stairs. Go through the green door on the right hand side by the fountain. In through the orchard door. And we want to stay on the path for a little bit. So at the end of the path you're going to find a note. You want to read that one. The letter from the builder. Make your way up the stairs but take a left here and we're going to go into the broken tower and inspect the wind meter thingy. Exit out of here and we're going to go backwards on ourselves, back to the stairs. Take a left and as you come up on the right hand side you're going to find a clue which is the tower wind research. And then next to that there is the alpine exploration letter or poster or whatever it is. And then from here we want to go inside. So open up the doors, follow the doors around and then take a left and then on this windowsill at the end you're going to find a, another key. So that is the painting room key and you want to look at the letter just here from Lady Arabella. Left of that letter you want to make your way down and you are going to find the letter from Natty and the envelope with the stamp. From here then we want to turn around and backtrack to the door that we just walked past, open that one up. Take a right and it's going to bring us back into the manor. And on your left hand side we want to open up the painting room. So on your right there is going to be the manor floor plan. There's a couple of other things in here that we need to look at as well that we've got to pay attention to. So there is the discarded poem. But there's also the unfinished painting which is I believed to uh, help with an achievement later on for Art Lover. And there are two of these that we need to find or maybe a couple more. In the back there is the invitation to the field trip as well as the research team photograph. Behind that you've then got the note about scale and then you've also got the symbology book. And then from here you can also look at the flower painting and watercolour book uh, but we need to now turn around and exit. We're going to take a left and we're going to go into the kitchen. Once you're in the kitchen, take a left and we're going to go down the stairs just here. Okay, and from here we need to place down the scales as in one, five, nine, three, from left to right. So one ounce, five ounce, nine ounce, and then three ounce. And that is going to trigger something special for us. Now make your way in and we're going to follow this corridor. You also get an achievement at the same time for doing this. So make your way in, follow the corridor to the end. We now need to grab duck number three, which is on the right hand side, just by this dusty looking bed. This is the tufted duck, so that's three out of five. Directly behind you is the letter from the priest. And then we want to make our way up the stairs that are in this room. And you'll see that we're downstairs in the broken area. Now directly in front of you, you're going to find the wolf, gloves, wolf glove seeds, which we'll need for our next plant. To your left, you're going to find a Lady Mountaineers poster on the wall. Pop open the thing below for the coins. So you've got the souvenir coins. And then to your right, you'll find in the bin an old advert. From that there, turn around and we're going to make our way over to the other table. You're going to find the field trip journal and then there is another set of coins also in the tub if you want to look at them. But you need to use these planks to repair the stairs. You'll bag yourself an achievement for Fixer Upper. That's going to allow you to get back up. And we're going to go outside to the right to the potting station. So fill the pot up with soil and plant a wolf glove and give some water to the plant. From here, pick up the plant, turn around. Make your way into the broken tower. Now, as you come into the broken tower, place your plant down. So you want to go up one floor by moving the lever. On the first window, just open up one half of it. And then you want to go up to the third window. Do not touch the second window. And then we're going to open up fully the third and the fourth window. Thank you. 
Okay, so if you've done that properly, we are gonna pop the achievement for growing the wolf glove, but we're also gonna need to add its clues. So once the opportunity arises, let's get some clues on the go. We wanna add clue. We're gonna add the nursery rhyme. We want to add the wind research. We want the alpine weather. We want the letter about the Alps and the envelope with the stamp. The letter from the builder and the coin collection. I'm not sure how the coin collection quite plays into it, but anyway, once you've done that, you want to move up. And once you get to the top floor, we're going to bag achievement for going to the very top floor of the tower so you get the mountaineer achievement. Make your way back down by using the same lever that took you up. Now that's over, we're going to take the wolf glove out and we're going to go after a bit of a miscellaneous achievement. But make your way back up to the orangery, go through the orangery straight out the other side, take a right at the end and we're going to go in to the house again. Now as you come through here, apologies for the cut, but you want to make your way across to the other side where you picked up the uh, glowing plant seeds for the photograph plant and make your way back into the drawing room. As you come into the drawing room, pop down your plant on the photograph shelf. Uh, and we're going to need to grab some chemicals again. So make your way into the chemical room. Pop it on the flask holder and you want to pour in two parts potassium and one part magnesium. Take that back to the photograph area. And as you come into the photograph area, you need to flip down the lid, pour the chemicals onto the thing, close it up and then take a picture. And that's going to get you an achievement for taking the wrong uh, a picture of the wrong plant. It's going to get you the photographer achievement. So once you've done that, you want to take that back to the front of the manor. I'm going to cut that short because you don't need to see it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead to the gatehouse. So to get to the gatehouse is the same as before. Make your way across the garden, back to the area where you started. Stay on the left hand side uh, and continue down to the very end. So you're going to find a letter from your sister at the same time, apologies we grabbed it a bit earlier uh, and there was a problem with the recording, but there is a key in the box next to the post box. And then we're going to make our way back into the main area. You're going to stay on the right hand side of the pond if you feel like it. Uh, make your way back into the manor house and you want to come into the big area with the tree. Okay, and then look at the family tree picture on the wall, but we're going to go upstairs from this way. Uh, and the family tree is the clue for opening up the library hall, which is E-A-H. So that is the Eliz Elizabeth's uh, initials. So that's going to open up. That wouldn't have worked if you tried to do that earlier in the game for some reason, but that's going to open up the library hall. Now into, into here. And then on the left hand side you're going to find a card, a thank you card. To your right you're going to find a book for modern methods of teaching and you're going to enter the room on the right hand side. As you come into this room you're going to get the, bottle, so the start of the chapter 4 botanical allies and take a right into the main library and look at the fox and the crow that's directly in front of you. Follow it around to the left hand side and in between these bookcases you're going to find the wonders book then you'll turn around and make your way back outside and you want to go up the stairs as you come in you want to take a left and we're going to look at another clue so on your left hand side you're going to find a, another book which is the hare and the tortoise story 
turn around and in between the other two bookcases on the same side you're going to find the Rising Sun book and then make your way to the other side uh, and on the other side you're going to find your next clue which is the golden fish to your left of the golden fish you're going to find the ball invitation and then turn around and make your way back and then we're going to head down the stairs head back into the main ground floor area of the library and then you want to push the sunrise fish hair and crow and then moon medallions on the wall I was going to pop open the secret study and we're going to make our way in and you want to look at the paintings on the wall. On the right is the old newspaper and then to the right of that you have two more paintings that you can look at. And then to your right of that you're going to find some seeds which is night four. like a cashew nut. Uh, to your right you will then find your next key which is the study key and then to the right of that you're going to find a book about grandma's research which talks about the nightfall. To the right of that book there is more paintings and now we need to exit out of this room. As you come out take a left and we want to go down to the study door and open that up with our newly found key and let's make our way in so to your right hand side as you come in you are going to find the letter from Anne and another book from that you want to look at the main table to find the professor's note and we want to find the book on mushroom food sources the fungi book or the mushroom book as it will be called in the clues and then in the same room you're going to find the tree diseases book and then you're also going to want to look at to your right for the uh, sapphire gloom seeds which is a mushroom and then to the left there's also the eggs that you'll need as a clue you don't have to inspect all of them just one of them will do Okay, so we are going to exit out of this room and we are going to do the tree some favours. Take a right and make your way back downstairs into the main lobby area. So this tree is in some need of a loving attention. It's got an infection. Make your way out to the potting station. You want to grab yourself a plant pot from underneath and put some soil in. Once you do that, you want to grab yourself a sapphire bloom gloom seed. I'm going to give that a sprinkle of water and that's going to cause it to sprout and this one's actually very easy to grow so we'll pick up the mushroom and we're going to go place it at the base of the tree that is going to cause the mushroom to grow uh, and that is going to complete the uh, the growth that we needed for that mushroom plant for that plant the sapphire glue Okay, and this one is very easy for clues. It is the tree diseases and the mushroom book. Okay, so this is the fastest plant to grow in the game, so we're gonna do some stuff here. So we get an achievement for every plant we throw away, so return to the potting station and hit it into the compost bin. That will give you the achievement. The plant must be fully grown for you to be able to lock that. Um, but we now need to grow another sapphire bloom. So it's the same trick as before. Soil, seed, water. Take it back to the tree. Uh, and that's going to cause the plant to grow a second time. 
And once you've done that, we're going to take that one back to the compost bin again at the potting station and get rid of it. And then we need to grow it again. So pop the plant down, soil, seed, and then water. And we're going to grow a third one of these, which is going to bag our achievement for growing the same plant three times. So we pick the sapphire gloom because it has the least steps. Uh, and it's the shortest distance that you have to travel between to do it and it's the least puzzling of the one. So grab the gloom after you've got your achievement and we're going to take this back into the side room next to that potting station uh, and pop it down anywhere you like. Okay, so we're going to make our way back upstairs now that we've healed the tree. So the stairs are to the right as you enter the manor. Now we've held the tree that is going to clear the doorway on the left hand side. So go past the library, go through the door, make your way down to the end. You want to open that up and we're going to make our way into this corridor. So on your right hand side, you're going to see the letter about weeds. Make your way into the corridor, you're going to find the trapped fairy picture on the wall. As you come down to the right, you're going to see the cradled fern. Continue further in. As you come down to the end, on your left hand side you'll see another potting station, but we're going to go through the door on the right hand side at the end. In the bin you're going to find the auto aquatic reed removal service. On the desk you're going to find the petition. You're also going to find the seeds for the cradle fan. And then to the right of that you're going to find the other book, The Trapped Ferry. To the right of that, there is a cat photo because you need to look at it and it's a cat, that's why. To the right, you'll find the letter from Eliza. And then to the right of that, you're going to find the essence of Arcania flower and the tincture of red. And then we're going to go into the bathroom. As you come in here on the left hand side, you're going to find the bath geezer note. And then to the right of the toilet, you're going to find the Wilson's plumbing quote. And then you want to pull the flush for the toilet. And you'll get an achievement for doing that. Okay, so we're going to repair the toilet. We're going to do the right angles first. So grab them to the right of the toilet. And we're going to place that on the lower pipe. Go back and grab the other right angle and place it on top of the one you previously just picked up. Grab the next right angle and place it on the pipe that is above it. You then turn around and grab the pipe that is underneath the Giza note and place it on top of your previous one. You'll then want to grab the T-junction off the top of the toilet, pop that down, and then on the floor below that pipe you're actually going to find your next right angle. Connect all of that in to complete the plumber puzzle. You also get an achievement for doing that. We also have to do that as well to um, grow one of the plants in a moment. So make your way back into the master bedroom. Uh, and you want to come out of this area. We're going to go straight to the potting station. So fill it up with soil. You want to grab the fern seed and then you want to drop the water on top of the fern seed. And we're going to go take that away with us. So you open up the door on the right hand side and as you come in you're going to find the key that is for the attic in the stairs beneath and then just above that you're also going to find the River Trust notice uh, and then there is the government notice as well. To the right of that is the letter from Mon Montagu. I don't know how to pronounce that, I apologise. And then go through the door on the left of the desk and you're going to find the letter about melodies. And then behind you you're going to find the Rivers of Somerset. Make sure that you've got your potted plant and we're going to make our way up the stairs. As you come up the stairs you want to place the plant down in the middle of the the bells. Behind you want to read the bird calls uh, clue and we need to do the owl song so we need to play E C D E G F in that order. So E C D E G F Okay, 
Okay. We are now need to fill in our clues. So, starting off with clue number one. You want to add the petition. For your next clue, you want to add the notice uh, letter about melodies. The fan painting. Bird eggs. And bird calls. That's going to complete the information, the clues linked to the cradle fan. Grab the cradle fan and let's take that bad boy back to the front of the house. So go down the stairs, take a right as you come through this area, take a right and go down past the, uh, the, the library, down the stairs and into the main area uh, and back to the left to the front to drop that down in the area so that we don't lose the plant for, for later. Okay, and now we're going to go need to grow some more plants, uh, this time in the attic area. So let's make our way back up the stairs. We want to go past the door that was blocked by the tree uh, and continue down. As you come in here, take a right and you want to open up the attic door. Once that is open, make your way in. First thing on your left, you're going to find the trapped moss information. Then you're going to find the moth calendar directly in front of you. And then you're going to find a poster about moss. I think whoever lives in the attic likes moss. Make your way up the stairs. As you go up the stairs on the left hand side, you are going to see the the Sight of Plants book. You're also going to find the Rusty Pig. You don't need that just yet, we'll come back for that later. Next to the projector here, you want to grab a look at the picture slide. Make your way a bit further in, you're going to find the dinner invitation on the left hand side at the top of the attic. Behind the grandfather clock you're going to find the mallard duck that you need to look at, that is duck number four. And then to your right you're going to find the botanist I digest and some seeds. This is for the brook chalice. which is a seed linked to water. Okay, so we need to make an exit from the attic by going down the stairs. Take a right as you come through here. And on the left hand side we're going to use the potting station. So grab your plant pot. Okay, and we are going to grow some Brook Chalice this time, whoever she is. So what are your plant? We want to grab the Brook Chalice off of the side just here. And we're going to go into the master bedroom. Take a right. And if you haven't figured this out already, we're going to place the plant pot down in the bathtub. From here, we've already completed the puzzle, so we don't need to uh, worry about doing that again. But for this to work, we'll actually need to get our hands on the rusty pig. So go through the bedroom. We're going to go back upstairs into the attic. So come out the bedroom, take a left, and it is the door on the left at the end. Go all the way up the stairs. The rusty pig can be found immediately on the counter to the left. And then head back down the stairs to the master bedroom. Now as you come through this area and you make your way into the bathroom, drop your pig down in the tub. And then we want to look at the boiler that is just to the right hand side. And you want to give that a turn to the left until you get to 25 degrees. And then you want to fill the bathtub. And if that's done correctly, the brook chalice is going to grow.
Okay, and then we need to put our clues in. So we are going to put in the river poster. The weed removal. The bath geezer. The river trust. The government notice. And the letter about weeds. I'm not sure why it's got a government notice. I don't know if it's causing real chaos, to be honest. Um, grab the plant, make your way back to the front area of the manor, and we're going to go pop this in the side room. Now, because we have the nightfall seed already, just use the potting station outside the, uh, the in the front area of the manor. We're going to plant a nightfall seed. Uh, you would have grabbed that earlier on in the game, in the secret area. We'll give that a water uh, once you've got the seed in. Grab the plant, and we're going to make our way upstairs. So go to the right, you want to go up the stairs. And as you come up the stairs, we want to take a left and go down past the door that was blocked by the tree. We're going to go up into the attic. So make your way up the stairs. Once you're at the top of the stairs, you want to place the plant down. Uh, and we want to put in the slides in this order. Blue, yellow, orange, red. That's blue, yellow, orange, red. And then once that's done, you want to click the button that is on the back of the magic lantern. Okay, now that that's done, we will be updating our clues. So you'll get the Nightfall achievement for growing the Nightfall. So start by adding the Sunset painting. They want to add also the Fairy painting, so the Sunset painting and the Fairy painting. Grandma's research, fairy story, moth's poster, sight of plants, oh, sorry, moth calendar, moth poster, moth calendar, trapped moss, and then also the sight of plants. That is all of the clues for nightfall. And then you're going to need to return this plant back to the start area, so the front of the manor uh, into the side room. So with three more seeds to go, and we're getting very close to the end now. We want to exit out because we've got another gatehouse delivery. We're going to make our way back to the gatehouse. So if you guys remember to get there, go to the other side of the fountain. It's practically back to the start of the game and stay on the left hand side. So. You'll now get the formal garden key, uh, and there's also an apology letter from Jimmy, whoever he is. What did Jimmy do? Make your way back down the main path, and we're going to go back into the garden areas. And then we want to take a right around the fountain, as opposed to a left this time, because we're different. Make your way up the stairs, and then go into the manor. Take a left, and then we want to go to the right past the painting room. Uh, and out through into the back terrace area. Go down the stairs. Go past where we picked up the ash plume seeds earlier. 
and the gate on the end will take your key into the formal garden. Now as you come into the formal garden, so directly in front of you, you're going to find next to the picnic area, the newspaper article about reporting mysterious signals. From here, turn around and you're going to see this little uh, bandstand like area thing and you're going to find some seeds on there. That is going to give you the spring, day, spring dance shrub. Okay, now that we've got some seeds, let's make our way over to the gardener's area. So just go past the potting station for now. There's a few clues that we want to grab. One on the little foot ladder by us on the right hand side. This is the telegraph note. As you come in, there are two more on the left hand side on the little green table. That's the note about the lawn and military codes. And then to your right, we want to open up the shed for two more clues about the different types of plant pods. And it is also linked to how to grow a hygi hygienius flower. Um, we're actually after the sandstone pot in this case. So it is the yellow one with the kind of speckled look to it. It's the top in the middle. And then we're going to make our way out of this little gardening area and we're going to go across to the potting station. Uh, and this time we need to use our own pot to move the other pot out of the way. Which doesn't quite go to plan for us here. Uh, but once you once you have that pot down you want to put in the the spring dance seed with the soil and put a bit of water on it. Now grab your shrub and make your way to the back area. As you come into the back area, pop your plant down and put some seaweed on it. It's going to turn it red. And now we want to turn around from here and we're going to take a right and go into the bird garden as we're coming out. So we're going to scare the birds down to the other end. Uh, so as you walk in, you're going to see a bird. It's going to have this little panic meter and it'll fly away. Don't worry about that. We'll deal with that in a section, uh, in effect, in a bit. As you come through to the back end area of this garden, you're going to find just on front of you, there is a table with some notes on it if you want to look at them. Uh, but you won't be able to pick them up with the, the pot in your hand. So make your way down to the very far end of the garden into this little corridor. And you're going to pop the plant just down on the little tray. Turn around, you're going to find the bird poster. You'll then want to grab the boathouse key because you're going to need that a bit later on. Exit out of this area and make your way to the back and you're going to find a clue for bird seeds and you want to grab the container just here okay so from here we're going to make our way back up to the top of the garden uh, and we're going to need to use these to um, also scare the bird but you're going to find the letter about mentoring at the top here now you've got your bird seed thing make your way to the very end uh, on the right hand side you're also going to find some more clues just in this section the letter from Hazel once you've got that, you want to make your way to the very top. And then on the left hand side as you come into this area, let's say by the teapot, you're going to find two clues uh, that you need to look at, which is the pigment research linked to the, uh, the plant uh, and then also the soil PHP. Grab the bird feeder and we're going to place that on the little hook next to the bird home. And then turn around and you want to grab the other one. Now you'll notice that this is going to draw the attention of the bird and the bird is going to hop between the different uh, the different kind of hooks. So just make your way away and the bird will fly over. Uh, and what you need to do is bait the bird down to the very end. So follow along with what we do here where we take each of the bird seed things, move them from one point to the other and it's going to cause the bird to fly over. Uh, you just need to keep your distance just to make sure that the bird flies and you just need to follow that all the way through.
Okay, once that's done, the bird is going to spring the plant. And we're going to need to fit in some clues. Okay, so you get your achievement for getting the spring dance shrub. And we need to add in the clues that are going to make this happen. So we want to add in the information about the bird poster, the soil, PHP and the pigment research. The pot catalogue. The bird poster and the bird seeds. The hygienas, if that's how I'm saying it correctly. Oh, we are missing a clue at this point. So we've left one behind by accident. So to find this, we want to make our way out of the bird garden and we're going to take a right back past the uh, the gardener's little hangout area and we're going to go up the stairs on the left hand side this time and that's going to take us up onto the side terrace so up here you're going to find the book bioluminescence which is another clue on the blackboard you'll find the plant chemicals you also find some more seeds, which is the Fool's Emerald. You also need to put your plant down for this one. Uh, and behind you, you're going to find the greeting card. And the greeting card was the missing clue. So to do this, take that plant pot with you and we're going to now return that back to the front of the manor. So you can go to the left uh, and follow back through the the garden, the back area uh, that you came to earlier uh, and go past the kitchen to the front of the manor. Once you've done that, we're going to go back to the the uh, formal garden area. So go past the mushroom now ridden tree. We're going to make our way outside. And as you come outside, you want to take a right and go down the stairs. As you come down the stairs, go through the gateway that is directly in front of you. Go through the gate and we're going to continue down. We're going to go past this little... Uh, dried up little pond and we're going to go down the stairs as we come down the stairs right on the left hand side there is going to be a painting 
make your way across to that painting and that is going to pop you the achievement for viewing the artwork. Now behind the painting by the lawnmower is a handle. You want to grab that handle and you're going to backtrack back up the stairs before we go into the boathouse. Getting near to the end of the game now, so we've only got a little way to go. Make your way up to the top of the stairs and you want to place the handle in this little kind of recess just here and that is going to flood the pond with water. And you'll need to have that for later, but it's going to open up the Frogger achievement for you for a way to cross the pond. Make your way back down into the lower area of this garden and follow the pathway all the way around. You're going to eventually reach a gate that is going to take us down to the boathouse. We're now going to grab our SOS achievement. So, uh, and uh, the final duck of the game. So make your way down the stairs. As you come down the stairs, this is the boathouse directly in front of you. Uh, from here, take a right, you're going to find the telegraph machine, you're going to open that up, So, and you need to press the dot button three times, the dash button three times, and then the dot button three times. So if anybody who knows Morse code, that stands for SOS, and that is the achievement for SOS. turn around take a right and just at the bottom of the stairs between the boxes is your final duck of the game the Egyptian goose which I don't think is a duck it's a goose but it's five for five on all ducks now from here you want to make your way upstairs into the boathouse so head up the stairs just open up the door make your way in immediately on the left hand side you're gonna find a clue To the right of that, you want to look at the playing cards on the table. To the right of that, then, is the board game rules. Turn around, and you want to grab the note for the supplies invoice. On the windowsill is your next set of seeds that you're going to need, which is the Osleti. I think I'm saying that right. I'm probably butchering it, but I'm not a botanist. So once you've got that, turn it around. You're going to find another clue by the window which is the Animal Heartbeats book. And then on the side here, we are going to see a gramophone. We'll come back to that in a second. So we need to exit out now of this area, back down the stairs, and there's a potting station at the bottom of the stairs. Fill up the plant pot, put the plant oscillate in and give it some water. And then take that back up into the boathouse and we're going to place it by the phonograph machine in the corner. So head on up. Okay, so now we're looking for the, the phonograph record thing that has the BPM of 120. Uh, and this is this one here. Um, pop that into the machine. Give that a spin and that is going to get the oscillate plant growing. And then we're going to need to add our clues. And for this we will need to add our clues. So we're going to add the weeds and seeds, the playing cards, the board game rules, and animal heartbeats. So that is the penultimate plant. We have one more to go. So you want to grab that plant and we're going to take it back to the front of the manor house. So pick that one on up and you're going to make your way back to the entrance. So you can do that by going through the gate just here. Go up the pathway. And there's going to be this door just on the side that is going to take you into the back of the the, sorry, the back terrace, which is where we found the kitchen key earlier. Go up the stairs, take a left, 
uh, and you'll recognize where you are. Take a right uh, and then follow those stairs up and then take a left past the kitchen to the front of the house. Okay, now we need to make our way back to the formal gardens. So exit out into the house, take a left at the tree, make your way out of there through the back terrace, take a right and go down the stairs. We're gonna go after the fool's emerald plant. Keep going straight forward and go through this gate just here. And then on the right hand side, we're gonna make our way across to the potting station. So just go straight there for this one. We have everything we need, I believe, at this point in time. So put your pot down, fill it up with some soil. Grab the seed and put some water on top. Take that into the area where you can cross with the frog leaves. Pop that down. We're going to make our way back to the boathouse because we need to get the SOS machine. So continue down and in. As you go past the pond, the door is just straight ahead of you next to the painting. Keep making your way down the stairs. And then once you get to the front of the boathouse, the telegraph machine is just to the right hand side by the boat dock area. Once you have that, make your way back up to the frogger area of the game. Now once you're in this area, pop the box down, you want to open up the lid and we're going to actually look at the clue on top. Uh, so the international Morse code is a clue. You make sure that you pick that up as well if you haven't done already. Uh, but enter dash dot dash dot dash. So you need to spell out K-A and that is written on the international Morse code thing on the top of the lid of the box, which is the clue. So make sure you read it and once you've done that correctly, that is going to cause the plant to grow. And so because this is the last plant of the game, there are no more clues to add other than the ones that you already have. So we need to add the remaining six clues to the Fool's Emerald plant. Now that's going to complete the Herborium. Uh, achievement so that's for getting all of the botanical research done and dusted so you want to grab that last plant and we're going to make our way back to the front of the manor uh, don't go to the gatehouse straight away you need to place this last plant uh, to get yourself another achievement you can get there by going past the gardener's little area and through the bird garden as you take a right as you come through this bit pop the gate open continue straight forward take a right and you want to go up the stairs and we're going to take the plant back into the house and you're going to pop that down in the other room so just pop it down anywhere or whatever the free slot is and it's going to bag you the achievement for putting a different flower on every uh, saucer in the flower room now you've done that we are pretty much ready for the end so we're going to make our way out to so go back to the gatehouse You then want to post into the post box the herbarium 
and that is going to trigger the credits uh, and I'm going to cut that short because it is a small post uh, cutscene for the game. Okay, and now that that is done, we are in our own house. Uh, you can check some of the items out here, but they don't really pay any more uh, to the to the achievements because there's not much left to go. Make your way to the back of the classroom, and they're going to be looking at the uh, the lessons and stuff that you got going. But in the back of the area, you want to read your note, which is your letter from the sister. Grab the book, and then place the book on the pedestal just here. And that is going to end the game for you. I've been Jessica from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment, subscribe, and happy hunting.